Hi everyone, uh, this is a new video um, about the fiberglass work for 300 SL Galway. Today actually I was uh, working on the, um, attaching the, the shell, the outer shell to the inner bone of the dickey. Two days ago I, have, I had um, glued them together with silicone Today, when I removed the, I mean the screws, it was not properly attached. So what I had to do, I had again to restitch it with rivets again on top of, uh, from top to, I mean from the outer shell to the inner bone, all being stitched, stitched by rivets with the silicone, of course. Um, the other side as well, same process. Still there's some space, some places like, but it's okay, overall it's okay. Um, this body actually was built many years back, maybe four or five years ago. And the owner somehow, he decided not to go with his project, so he sold the body kit to us. And uh, everybody knows like fiberglass after some time changing the shape, like especially I'm talking about um, the inner bones, the outer shells. I'm not talking about the, the whole body. The whole body is a little bit solid. Uh, it's solid fiber. But uh, I'm talking about the bonnet, the dickey, the doors. These are not quite strong, so by time, heat, uh, temperature, with the um, humidity, changing shape. So it's not a very straightforward job, like just attach them and that's it, completed. It's really a very hectic job, very, very hectic job. I mean, it's much more difficult than, I mean, people imagine. Maybe many people think that it is very straightforward. It is not. It is very complicated, actually. Here, again, I, I attached the attach the bonnet to the bone by screws now. Later when I will op remove the screws, I will check how's the space. If the space is not good, again, I have to restitch it uh, with the rivets. Same thing I have made here with the doors. Actually, these areas all being cut and uh, re-welded or actually cut and rejoined by fiber here, this area here same this area that area both doors and as we can see here also the same for the for the shell also has to be break and rejoined to match the 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 inner bone it's not quite easy it is really very hectic job but here we go this is uh, the new updates on our project I hope you liked it. You can uh, subscribe and follow us on, on our YouTube channel to see more on this uh, 300 SL Gullwing recreation. As I said, this car gonna be 100% Mercedes, all engine, electrical, interior, exterior, everything. It is uh, built on uh, R107. That's the chassis underneath. Added the fuel tank under the behind the back seat. And this is a spare tire. And here we go. The trunk is almost done. See you next video.